Now to one of Hollywood's most beloved couples, that is Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard. This dynamic duo always has a lot on their plates, from starring in must-watch TV shows and movies to raising two adorable little girls. We're so happy they made time for us this morning. They have a new, uh, a new business whip. and a project you're going to talk about in just one second. But first, we have to comment. We were watching you guys. You didn't know that we were all staring at you. You're talking like a normal. It's palpable. You're you guys cozy. It's the you energy. like newlyweds. Yeah. What? Yeah. Love. Yeah, what's going on? What is on? it? What is happening with you guys? Well, we spend about 11 months a year apart. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when well, we, we get to be together. Yeah. So it is a little honey. I haven't seen her since July 4th. We got together <laughs> yeah, for July a picnic. Yeah, July 3rd. The Do night of July 3rd. You're right. Yeah. You're right. How did you guys so, meet? <laughs> At a Red Wings uh, Kings game. Hockey game. Yeah. 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 And um, I read somewhere that you weren't so smitten at the beginning. You said something in a recent interview that you weren't sure it didn't strike you. As I a wasn't wow. either. We, it wasn't love For either of us. Let's just be fair. <laughs> Until I think, we yeah. both started talking. and then, But what you're probably remembering yeah. is that he broke up with me a month in. Why? Why would you do that, Dax? Who That's does dumb. that? Be, well, okay, real talk. <laughs> real talk. I felt unethical about, I could sense that she was at another place than I was. I just uh, broke up I was with ready someone. to jump in. Uh -huh. and, and he was, you know, still exploring options. And it was, well, in retrospect, go I ahead. won't speak for you. No, please do. You've <laughs> already begun. In retrospect, <laughs> it was the nicest thing he could have done because it was keep. It was out of respect for me that he was like, I think you're in a different place. Right. And I don't want to just toy with you. And 36 hours later, I was like, no, I am in that place. I screwed up. And I called And I was her. like, I'll see if I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> Very busy. <easy. laughs> you guys are so honest about everything. And I think it. it's cool that you share even your fights. A lot of people keep their fights and kind of the dirty stuff like over here. Not sure. us, man. Yeah. I, We'll that... fight right now. <laughs> I think you just got a little taste you of it. And go, it. fight. <laughs> but you, you, how do you fight? Like, what's the right way for you guys to argue? Respectfully. Yeah. Well, we have a co sort of conflicting ideas about what this whole relationship goals thing uh -huh. means. And for him, it's very, well, for me, it's very important that we lead honestly and say it's, it's a lot of hard work. Yeah. And here's an example of how it uh -huh. can be done. It's putting in the hard work. And I, it makes me nervous because I don't want to perpetuate the myth that you're going to bump into somebody at the gap and that person's going to fill your missing piece and there's no work and now it's off to a happily ever yeah, after. You gotta fix I just yourself. want everyone to know like you know this was a lot of work for us to get to this point where we can sit and talk with you. That's yeah. good because people think it's so easy. It's you know? easy. It's not yeah. but we do and we love being together because of that work and we love working together and we yes. just started a business together. Tell us, right. tell us, tell us. So well, we've now been researching children for five and a half years at our house. Yeah. We had two test subjects. Yeah. yeah. And my wife is meticulous about what goes on our baby, yeah. what goes in our babies. And Near our um, babies. we have access in L.A. We also overpaid on television. We had access to everything under the sun. Uh -huh. And we felt like it wasn't fair that our relatives in Michigan didn't have the same access and that it wasn't affordable. And we we're in this very unique position where we could go to Walmart and say, hey, if we can start huge, oh. we can make this very what affordable. What was missing? What, yeah. was, what was the affordability? that was missing well like in a Food? baby care no in a baby care line like diapers wipes they call them lotions and potions and yeah. for me i read the ingredients on everything and yeah. i want to avoid you know um harmful chemicals chemicals of concern, based stuff. And, and you know use something sustainable yeah. like a like coconut oil based things instead of petroleum use organic materials whenever possible like botanicals and make sure we're supporting sustainable farming practices and all the things i want in a line but make it accessible Accessible for people. There's 100 stores in LA. Boutique but but stuff yeah, and go, generally but to in have no. those ingredients, it's so expensive because your volume's not there. But because we started on such a big scale, we have the volume to make it a third less it's than our competition. It's accessibility because everyone can get to yeah. a Walmart, and it's also the availability for your budget. A lot of people, and I mean a lot of people in this country, have to choose between what's good for their baby or what's good for their budget. Right. And we just generally did not think what's that was called? very fair. Yeah, what's this called? Hello Bello. Hello, Hello Bello. Bello? Yes. Oh. And how expansive. Hello, oh, Bello, goodbye, Shepard, yeah. is the goal. Yes. 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 Hello, Bello, goodbye, Shepard. What's Shepherd. in the line of Hello, Bello? It is diapers, diapers yeah. wipes, sunblock. Fully organic bug spray. Lotions and potions. Lotions yeah. and potions. Lotions, potions. Bubble bath, shampoo and body wash. Yeah. And the price point's good for. Price point is about a third, third less cheaper. than wow. other premium yeah. products. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. By the way, how are your kiddos? Oh, what's new with so them? annoying. Real talk. They're so they've become impossible to parent in a great way, in a rewarding way, because they've dis they've di figured out how to defend each other. And so like a couple days ago, I watched the older one 
square clock the little one in the face. Yeah. And I mean, Vander Holyfield. Right. Right. Yeah. And I said, I said if you hit her again, I was taking away something special for a day. I'm going to get Kitty from her bedroom. Yeah. I took it away. And all of a sudden, I start to feel this on my legs. From, yeah. the, from yeah. the victim. The, the little victim. one. And she said, don't you victim. take that Kitty away <gasps> from my sister. You oh, they're running a racket on you. Oh, and yeah. I was like, you I was dead. defending you. Yeah. They won't let us punish right. the other one. Wow. The There's something about that Stock- loyalty that's special, though. Yeah. I, I think they call it Stockholm Syndrome. The four-year-old <laughs> is definitely under Stockholm oh Syndrome. Oh, my God, that is yeah. hilarious. <laughs> well, you, you guys are so fun. Thanks for coming, and good luck with this. That oh, sounds cool. Thanks sounds for really having cool. Me. Where do you your timeouts, by the way? I gave my little yeah. one a timeout, and I realized she was in a room. Like, it's amazing. With her toys. toys everywhere. I'm like, this is not the do place. Do you do timeouts? Uh, it depends on the need to create a prison, so. Yes. If they don't need help with their emotional stability and they just need a Consequence, yeah, we'll do If they're that. more ruining our time because yeah. they're mad they didn't get candy, that's something they can do. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> right, Guys, thank you very much.